सो हेंस अकॉर्डिंग टू जीरो लॉ देर इज अ फिजिकल क्वांटिटी विच रिप्रेजेंट और विच स्टेट वेदर और नॉट अ गिवन सिस्टम इज इन थर्मल इक्विलिब्रियम विद अनदर सिस्टम एंड दैट फिजिकल क्वांटिटी इज टेम्परेचर सो जीरो जीरो लॉ इज एक्चुअली एक्सप्लेन सर्स और डिफाइन सर्स द कंसेप्ट ऑफ टेम्परेचर और राइट नाउ थर्मोडाइनमिक स्टेट वेरिएबल्स द टर्म वेरिएबल्स है स्टार्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर is also called thermodynamic state variables these are those physical quantities which represents the uh, the state of equilibrium of a thermodynamic system like pressure volume and temperature right and similarly equation of a state is the equation which represents the relation between thermodynamic variables for example if i talk about an ideal gas so ideal gas can be completely represented by an equation which you might have Uh, done in chemistry that is pv is equal to nrt right where this pressure volume and temperature n is number of moles of a gas and r is universal gas constant right so this is an equation which completely explains the concept of or the equation the uh, the status or the changes in ideal gas that is pv equal to nrt now i want to start with the thermodynamic processes right but before that Uh, we are doing thermo dynamic processes but before that we will do a small term called quasi static process quasi static process is a process which take place with a speed which is infinitely slow that means quasi static the word means almost static ya yeah. nearly static right so quasi static means infinitely slow process so whatever thermodynamic process we are going to study they will be considered quasi static process only unless and until it is stated otherwise all right now thermodynamic processes are what the processes represents the change in a system for example the system is going undergoing some change from stable to unstable thing or from equilibrium to unstable state so that state is represented by a process and that is called thermodynamic process the thermodynamic processes are of four types first it is called isothermal process then they are adiabatic process then we have isobaric process and then we have isochoric process so <coughs> these processes are like that isothermal process is a process which takes place at constant temperature isobaric process is that process which takes place at constant pressure then isochoric process is that process, process which takes place at constant volume whereas adiabatic process is a process in which everything changes but there is no exchange of heat from system to surrounding so there is no exchange of heat so all these processes have their own equations and now we are going to elaborate in detail what are the equations of the uh, these processes and what will be the work done if we undergo such kind of process